So you're not a developer, but you have an idea of an app that you would like to build. That's pretty much all you need in order to have your app in back for app. Today I'll show you how to achieve that using only the back for app ChatGPT plugin. And by the way, if you like this kind of content, please leave a like in this video and consider subscribing to the channel so you never miss out on new content like this. And here I am at ChatGPT where I select the GPT-4 model and I enable the back for app plugin. If you want to enable the back for app plugin, the first step is to go to your account, click settings and beta, and here on the beta features, enable plugins. With that done, you can go to the plugin store and install the back for app uh, plugin uh, for ChatGPT. And here I have my back for app account where I have already two apps running, Yoon and Backend Tests. And we're going to ask to ChatGPT to create a new app here. And my idea is to, cre to create a uh, social network application that works just like Twitter, but for science. So let's ask to create this app. Please create a new app in Backfrap, name it Science Social Network. And every time you run a comment that will interact with Backfrap, you will end up with this little green box that you can expand to see what comments are being sent to and retrieved from Backfrap. Now, if we go to the Backfrap website again and refresh, you notice that my Science Social Network app was just created. So back to ChatGPT, I'm going to create a new site and ask it the data structure that is needed in order to operate an app just like Twitter. So please describe the data structure of a, an app in Backfrap that works similarly to Twitter. And now you can see it will start enumerating the classes that are needed, so a user class and the properties for every single class. So the user class should have a username, a password, an email, a profile picture, and the tweet class would have a content, an author, and the number of likes. A direct message would have a sender, a receiver, and some content. The hashtag class would have the tag and tweets, and pretty much all other classes that I needed for me to operate such an application. Once this model finishes, I can ask it to reflect into my science social network app in Backfrap. So let's do that. Please reflect this structure in my science social network in Backfrap. And once again, it will show the green box that I can use to, uh, it will ask me if I want to proceed, so yes. And here is the green box that will show all the comments sent to and from back for app. It asks if it should proceed, so yes. Since it got an error, so we can ask it to try again. So yes. So now let's go to our back for app account, open our social network application. And here is all the classes it created. So direct message, hashtag, media, tweet, and user. Now I can also use this plugin to populate these classes with some data. So back to ChatGPT, let's ask it to retrieve, for instance, the Nobel Prizes from a few years. So please retrieve the Nobel Prize winners from 2000. 19 to 2021.
And now that I got this data, I can ask it to persist all this information into a new class in Backfrap. So please persist all this information in a class named Nobel Prizes in my science social network app in Backfrap. It should contain the year, the winner, and the topic that gave the winner their prizes. You ask me if I want to proceed, so yes. Yes, again. Now let's check our application and see if it reflected the information I got. So here is my Nobel Prizes class. If I click this, you see all the winners and the topic and the year. And now I can use the same Backfrap plugin to retrieve data from Backfrap in a specific order. So back here, let's ask it. From my Nobel Prizes class in the Science Social Network app in Backfrap. Please retrieve all winners from 2020. Please render a table with the results, telling the name and the name of the winner and the topic. And there you go, all the winners from 2020 with the topic that gave them their prizes. So, as you can see, it's very, very easy to build an app without any knowledge about software development if you have the ChangeGPT plugin from Backfrap and a Backfrap free account. So, if you like this video, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so it can help us grow. I also share this link with a friend and they can learn something too. If you're already subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or an implementation you'd like to see, please leave in the comment section down below. We always answer all the questions. I hope this content was useful to you and hope to see you back. See you soon. Bye bye.